The funny side of language. Sarcasm versus verbal irony. Hello, language learners. Welcome to today's video. We are diving into the rich world of humor, specifically focusing on sarcasm versus verbal irony. These are important elements of jokes that, when understood and used correctly, can add a punch of humor to your English conversations. In storytelling and jokes, verbal irony plays a significant role. But what is it, exactly? Verbal irony happens when we say one thing but mean another. It's all about the contrast between what is said and what is actually meant. For example, let's say you are walking in the rain without an umbrella and you say, what a lovely day. Clearly, it is not a lovely day because it's raining and you're getting soaked. This is a classic example of verbal irony. Now, let's dive into sarcasm. Sarcasm is a form of verbal irony, but it is often used to mock or show annoyance. It is typically characterized by a tone of voice that indicates the speaker means the opposite of what they are saying. For instance, if you've just woken up from sleep and your roommate exclaims, well, rise and shine, sleeping beauty, they are being sarcastic. They mean that you've slept a lot, perhaps more than usual. While both sarcasm and verbal irony involve saying the opposite of what you mean, the key difference lies in the intent. Verbal irony can simply aim to highlight an incongruity, while sarcasm is usually used to critique, mock, or show irritation. Imagine you see a very tall man ducking to avoid a low door frame and you say, wow, you're really short. This is verbal irony because it points out the incongruity. However, if you say the same phrase to a friend who has just failed to reach a high shelf, it's sarcasm, as it implies a critique of their height. And that's it for today's lesson on sarcasm versus verbal irony. I hope you found this video enlightening and that it will add a touch of humor to your English conversations. Remember, it's all about the contrast between what is said and what is meant, and the intent behind the words. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be delivering those sarcastic zingers and ironic comments like a pro. See you in the next video. Happy learning, everyone!